right, let's take it let's take it into the winery and talk about choices you make as a winemaker that you can share with us. Obviously, there may be some things you don't talk about. I don't know. No secrets. Um, whereas, you know, because aromatics for Vignet are in the skins, right? So how much skin contact is normal? Depending, does it depend on the bottling? You, you know, Virgilius gets this versus Y series mm. gets that. Um, because all of them are super well balanced for their purpose. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously a lot of the bitterness that people get out of Vignet is coming from that skin and if it's not managed properly. So obviously you've figured it out along the way. So help us understand. Okay. So I promise there's no secrets here. Because, okay, you fine. know, and I've, I've spoken to this at seminars, you know, for viticulturalists and winemakers around, all over the world because, um, you know, I think, um, you know, the more great Viognier's are there around the world, the better we're all, we all are. So, um, you, you, there's a lot of flavour in the skins, you're right. There is quite a lot of flavour in Viognier just in the pulp and in, okay. in the juice. Um, so we don't do any skin contacting, um, well, you know, apart from, you know, once you pick the grapes, you know, they've got their skins. We don't do any deliberate skin contacting once the grapes have been pressed or, or, or crushed. Um, and in fact, we, we don't crush them, if, you know, at, at all. So we pick the grapes. Um, it, for um, something like the Virgilius, they're all, you know, it's 100% hand-picked, of course. For Eden Valley Viognier, some of those are actually machine-picked, um, but they're, they're very close to the winery. They're picked in the cool of the night. Uh, they're picked into, um, you know, um, half ton, ton, 500 kilograms, sorry, I can't convert that into pounds. That's fine. Yeah. Um, 500 kilogram bins, and we tip them straight into our membrane presses, and they're pressed straight away. Um, what we... We don't add anything to the juice or to the grapes. We're not adding any sulfur dioxide to stop oxidation, and in fact, quite the opposite. So what we are wanting that juice to do when it comes out of the press is to passively react with the oxygen in the air and oxidise. And so once the juice gets to um, its fermentation vessel, which it goes straight from the, from the press straight into either a stainless steel tank or um, an oak barrel, we don't clarify it, we don't add anything to it. It's brown. Right? Okay. You, you said how much phenolics are in grapes in the Viognier skins, and that's absolutely true. Um, they, are, um, they are very phenolic. Uh, 